uh, we were as we were discussing class so as we were discussing bete um co2 has 6 into 10 is to part 23 molecules so that would have 618 into 10 is to part 23 atoms all right 18 into 10 is to part 23 atoms which is different from 12 into 10 is to part 23 atoms which is different from 6 into 10 is to part 23 atoms so you see the point is there is a difference why because i'm saying it for the fourth or fifth time that any substance that exists in nature whether an element or a compound i'll repeat again any substance that exists in nature whether an element or a compound its basic particle in one mole will be 6 into 10 is to power 23 and that particle can be atom molecule or formula unit so please make sure you understand this all right so you don't confuse this concept that every substance on this planet earth or this universe has 6 into 10 is to power 23 atoms it's not true it can be 6 into 10 is to power 23 atoms as in the case of argon or it can be more than that depends on what it's made up of nacl has 6 into 10 is to power 23 formula units now if someone asks you one mole of nacl has how many formula units you say 6 into 10 is to power 23 now you can see how many ions do you see in one formula unit class i see two ions in one formula unit of nacl one of them is sodium and the other one is chloride so that would be 12 into 10 is to power 23 ions. So if you get confused, like, you know, if someone asks in front of you, like, you know, NaCl has 12 into 10 is to power 23 ions, okay, in one mole, do not get confused because that's true. It has 12 into 10 is to power 23 ions. Its formula units are 6 into 10 is to power 23. Now, uh, you know, um, winding up this entire discussion, by the way, about uh, C6H12O6, it would be having 6 into 10 is to power 23 molecules, right? And of course, its atoms would be how many atoms can you see in one molecule of C6H12O6? I can see 24 atoms in one molecule. So that would be 6 times uh, 6 into 10 is to power 23 times number of molecules times 24. That would be 144 into 10 is to power 23. Or you can write 1.44 into 10 is to power 25 atoms. Now that's a huge amount as compared to the other ones. So I hope you really get this point and that you guys, you know, get the actual meaning of what one mole can be and that the number of particles can differ from one uh, substance to another uh, when it comes to the basic. So the particle is 600 times 23, not the atom only. Class, is that crystal clear to all of you? <clears throat> Yes, sir. The school levels doesn't have any, you know, uh, uh, that's subjective. It can be different from your point of view. It can be different from my point of view. But uh, uh, talking about the general idea, uh, people find moles very difficult in O levels, which is not very difficult, in fact. All right. Now, one last thing, and then we can call it a day because I have another class, beta. Here's the thing. The next thing that you have to understand is that class, how about Okay, fine. We understand everything. We understand that moles are there. We understand that, you know, one mole of carbon, all right, one mole of carbon will be 6 into 10 is to power 23 atoms. We understand everything regarding moles now. But my question to you is, for example, I asked one of you, go and bring me one mole of carbon from that shelf, from that XYZ shelf. So you see the point is, you walk to that shelf, you take that box of carbon, that jar of carbon, that big plastic bottle of carbon or whatever it is over there. And suddenly for one minute, you say that, okay, fine. I know that I need to take out six into 10 is to power 23 atoms of carbon. But the point is, how are you going to count those six into 10 is to power 23 atoms? Can you count six into 10 is to power 23 in your lifetime? I don't think so. 6 into 10 is to power 23 atoms cannot be counted. Even if I gave you a way to count one atom at one time, you cannot count that you know, number in your lifetime. It's difficult. So the point is, is mole all about theory? Kya ye sirf baate hai? Kya iska koi hakikat mein ho bhi sakta hai kuch? To beta, ek simple si baat bata ta Regardless of the fact ke ye Gamilio Avogadro, the guy who gave this concept of moles, all right? 
regardless of how he found this out okay regardless of the fact how he found this out he found out and gave one very beautiful concept and made things easier for us you don't have to count one mole can you guys tell me how would we separate one mole of carbon from a big jar of carbon fill of uh, full of black colored carbon can you tell me how how do we do that thank you thank you for that <clears throat> g class any idea no no idea okay let me tell you beta what is this ye kya hai this is the periodic table can you see carbon over here between boron and nitrogen can you see that now answer a simple question what's the mass of carbon ek atom ka mass kitna diya hua atomic mass periodic table right in front of you the periodic table is right in front of you my question is simple what is the atomic mass of carbon come on tell me i uh, said so 12 exactly so beta here's the point gamilio avogadro gave an extremely beautiful concept he said you don't need to count this quantity for carbon okay or for any element any element you don't have to count this quantity what you do is take out the periodic table look at the mass of that element in the periodic table and measure that mass in grams beta you go take that jar of carbon take 12 grams of carbon it will be equal to 1 mole now we are not interested or you should rather not be interested in how did he find this out and this applies on every element so 12 grams of carbon will be equal to 1 mole will be equal to 6 into 10 is to power 23 atoms of carbon all right so that's the point this is something really good that he discovered or that he gave the concept of how would we measure one mole how would we do that like for example uh, nitrogen look at nitrogen if you have like n2 all right to ek nitrogen ka mass hota hai 14 right n2 ki baat ho rahi hai na beta n2 it exists in the form of molecule so one atom has a mass of 14 two atoms will have, will have a mass of 28 so that means 12 uh, sorry that means 28 grams of nitrogen will be equal to 1 mole will be equal to 6 into 10 raised to power 23 molecules of nitrogen so no problem calculating uh, you know 1 mole that's not a problem why because he simply gave you one simple concept i mean look at aluminum look at aluminum this is aluminum it's 27 right so rather counting 6 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms of aluminum you just take 27 grams of aluminum One mole, it will be equal to one mole of aluminum, right? And that will be equal to six into ten raised to power twenty-three atoms of aluminum. All right. Now you can apply this on every element, every single element in the periodic table. Take your pick. I mean, for example, take sodium over here, right? Twenty-three. So that would be twenty-three grams of sodium will be equal to one mole of sodium. ठीक है? And is equals to six into ten to the power twenty-three atoms of sodium. All right. So long story short, mole concept. What is it? It's the SI unit of amount of substance. Amount, as in the sense, ये आपके पास it doesn't care about the size, about the mass of any substance. Mole is rather considering the amount. So the point is six into ten to the power twenty-three. 6 into 10 to the power 23 6 into 10 to the power 23 6 into 10 to the power 23 it can go different ways it can sometimes be like you know we discussed in detail it can be molecules atoms or formula units <clears throat> all right and then the point is it can be how would we you know uh, know that for example we used in the case as in the case of carbon we started with that point so carbon one mole how are we going to count those 6 into 10 to the power 23 atoms we cannot count that much so what we do is 12 grams of carbon is equals to 1 mole is equals to 6 into 10 to the power 23 that is what we do all right now this is what we do and this is what we have done so far in moles we have discussed in detail what are moles what are formula units what are molecules atoms exist as atom uh, sorry elements exist as atoms but they can also exist in the form of molecules as in the case of eight exceptions which are always molecules um and then we discussed that how different 
substances can have the same number of particles associated with them when it comes to one mole all right there will be same number of particles and now that's a different story that it has 6 into 10 to the power 23 molecules or atoms or formula uh, units is that clear class to all of you <clears throat> any questions because uh, then i would like you know taking i would be taking an off time so koi kuch puchna hai beta to puch le saron ko clear hai beta yes sir i hope it is clear to all of you now uh, inshallah we'll have a class some other day now uh, take care of yourselves and enjoy your weekends allah hafiz and see you bye <clears throat> allah hafiz sir allah hafiz